Hi, in this particular video we've been told that these two shapes are mathematically similar. Okay, <laughs> which basically means that they're the same shape. So we've got one with a surface area of 18 centimetres squared and the other is 50 centimetres squared. We're told that the bigger one has a mass of 500 grams and we're looking to calculate the mass of the smaller one. OK, well with these types of questions you need to establish relationships between uh, the two component parts. What I mean by that is we've got 18 centimetres squared is the... Um, surface area of shape B and that's going to be equal to something which we're going to call K multiplied by 50 centimeters squared for shape A. Now the thing that you need to remember with this is that because we're dealing with a surface area it's a K squared calculation and that's really important because it's going to have a big impact on how you calculate these. You need to remember really that K on its own is a linear relationship, k squared is going to be an area relationship and k cubed is going to be a volume or a mass relationship and those we're going to be using a little bit later on in this particular video. Okay so now we've got that 18 equals something squared times 50 this this value of k this constant it allows us then to work out the value of k because k squared equals 18 over 50 and therefore k equals the root of 18 over 50 and if I put that into a calculator I'm going to get the value of k to equal 0.6. Well that's great because now I can use that information when I'm working out the mass because again I've got a similar relationship. If I can say there's a relationship between the surface areas and that's k squared, I can also say that there is a relationship between the masses. So the mass of B which is what we're trying to find out is going to be equal to k times the mass of A. Okay, and don't forget that because we're talking about a mass, it's a volume, it's K cubed. Okay, therefore, we can just simply put the value of K into this calculation and work out the mass of B. So K is 0 0.6, and that's going to be cubed, multiplied by the mass of A, which is 500 grams. And if you put that into a calculator, you're going to get an answer of 108 grams. So therefore, because these two shapes are mathematically similar, shape B has a mass of 108 grams. Okay, so the key areas that you need to remember on this is that you need to establish these relationships, but you also need to remember that we're using either K on its own as a linear relationship, or K squared as an area relationship, or K cubed as a volume stroke mass relationship. I hope that's okay for you. Please do add a comment below, the site, uh, below in the uh, comment section. Uh, like, subscribe to the site, and look forward to seeing you inside the next video.